So QuickBooks, I set up a test company. Um, this is the advanced version. So actually I'm gonna log out and get back to the main page. So QuickBooks, here is the home page. Here are your options. And this would be the advanced version, which I'll show you why I think it's, it's super user friendly. Um, and what, what the advanced version will bring you as business owners. Um, and, and one of the key things in my advanced courses are the KPIs, which is key percentage indicators and KPI reporting and understanding your metrics and how to use them as a, a business GPS. So I'm going to kind of go into that a little bit um, at the start of the class. So um, let's log in. So this would be after you set up your books and you have um, like uh, data in there. You have to have transactions um, to do that. So I'm just going to do a quick, quick run through of the full cycle set of books that you guys will most definitely need to use during your um, first few few years of business. So under reporting, um, you'll see that this version has a bunch of different reports. So you can get your um, profit and loss, your balance sheet, um, comparisons, summaries, payments by customer. You can like really dissect everything. Who owes you money, collection reports, um, balance reports, things like that. Um, so profit and loss statement um, is key. That's the number one thing that you'll need to um, drive your business. Um, for investors and banks, they really want to look at your balance sheet. Um, but so like a profit and loss statement shows how much money. So let's look at the sample set of data. Um, so profit and loss here. So let's just look for the year. So 2020 to today. Uh, wow, looks like this business is doing, uh, you know, seven figures, has um, cost of goods, lots of different earnings schedules, and you can set up all these different chart of accounts. So the chart of accounts is really the backbone of your accounting software. Um, and you can set up a custom chart of accounts under this little um, um, system uh, button in the far right, and then um, chart of accounts. And this is really every code, every expense, every piece of revenue that your business will need. It has all your bank accounts set up. These numbers right here um, are tied to your account type. So if you guys wanna do an advanced training um, in QuickBooks for business owners and entrepreneurs, I have a program called Bulletproof Your Business and it's, it's all revolving around all of this. So I'm not gonna really dig into these details because QuickBooks comes with like a standard chart of accounts. It has one that you just get when you get the program and it's already in there and has a very, you know, general range of items. Um, so once you're to that point and you want to expand and kind of make it your own custom set of books, then we go through ways to make your financial statements look better to banks and how to set up these kind of codes um, and, and code everything out. So um, that's how the reporting happens is that you, you, you custom set up a chart of accounts and then um, the program does the rest. Essentially, it, it puts everything in the report forms. Um, so there's a lot of chart of accounts in that one. So all these numbers mean something. And usually you want to code them like the one, ones that start with one are assets. Twos are liabilities, threes are equity, four is revenue, five is cost of goods, six is 
general operating expenses. So if you build your chart of account based on that, one through six, uh, then you'll be right in line with GAAP and FAB, which is federal accounting standards. A lot of people, some people don't use numbers at all. They just use words, which is okay. But when you start getting into, um, you know, uh, subgroups and maybe you have like five units and you have employee, you're gonna want a code. You're gonna want numbers. Because it's a lot easier to 10 key in things when it's always numbers. Um, so, okay. So the chart of accounts helps drive these reports. Um, so the profit and loss statement is pretty much the summary of the certain codes. So the, four th the, the ones that start with four are uh, revenue. The ones that start with five are cost of goods and so on. Um, and so this is really what the banks want and investors, they wanna see what the net income is and they wanna see what your gross revenue is. And they, and they wanna see what your adjusted, um, adjusted gross profit margin is. And so um, the P&L is super important. Okay, so keep that in mind. And then the balance sheet is where all your assets are. So banking, accounts receivable, anyone who owes you money, anyone you owe money, um, any assets, um, credit cards, liabilities, and then equity, which is how investors uh, and banks um, kind of weigh your business and see what your business is worth is based on this equity portion. Um, so balance sheets, profit and loss. So you get that with all the different QuickBooks um, subscriptions. Okay, and then you also get all of these tabs. So you get invoices, you can create invoices for customers, you can enter credit memos, refunds, you can enter expenses by check, you can pay bills online. So that's why I really push this program is because it's all about um, um, automation. So bookkeeping used to be like very cumbersome. You have to keep all the receipts, you have to enter every single purchase, you have to code it out, you have to press paid on it, entered, you know, it used to be very cumbersome. Now you can, you can just um, hook it up to your bank account and program at one time what each expense is and it will remember. And then when they start coming through again, they will tell you, oh, this hit the bank, I'm putting it here. This hit the bank, I'm putting it here. This hit the bank, I'm putting it here. And then you just say book, 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 instead of having to like do all the like hunting for it, where does it go and stuff. Um, so it's been set up really, really nice. Um, also, you can run payroll, full cycle payroll out of QuickBooks. So, and they also file your taxes, your quarterly returns. So it's super, super intuitive and helpful tool. Okay, and um, you can apply for a loan, capital and credit. Um, so QuickBooks has, you can get the PPP loan, you can get the EDI, DEL loan, emergency disaster loan relief for COVID, everything you can do through the QuickBooks portal. Um, so the really awesome thing is, um, there's this new reporting feature and it's, it's really super intuitive, okay? It will tell you, so like Performance Center. This Performance Center right here will, if you have it set up correctly and dialed in, um, you can pretty much have it set up just like a financial GPS. So you tell your coordinates where you wanna go, what you're gonna do, and then um, put in your estimations and then it will track it and it will tell you if you're out of balance or not or how far away you are from the goal or um, you know how, how much you you netted in comparison with the prior year or um, 
how many expenses there are that need to be paid right now based on due date. Um, it's, it's really interactive and um, really a helpful tool. And so the reports from Fathom, so it's QuickBooks teamed up with this awesome company called Fathom. And it literally has changed the advanced reporting features um, for QuickBooks. And I actually used to just get Fathom for my clients, um, specifically for the, the KPI reporting. Um, so Fathom is in one of these apps here. I think I had installed it on here to use as an example. Um, Fathom. So Fathom, you, you have to spend some time setting it up. So that's why I do this advanced course, um, Bulletproof Your Business, um, because it does take time. We take the budgets, we take the, we take the, um, your projections, your forecasts, and then we put them in these targets, okay? So you have your targets all dialed in, then you have your actuals, then you have, they do these trend analysis on how likely it is that you're gonna meet your goal, and then it will send you a message telling you, hey, you're 15% down for the month, you need like eight new, new customers to meet your goal. Um, and if you don't, then you need to adjust your cost of goods by 15%. And that means either you need to stop your ad spend or you need to, um, you know, find some money. <laughs> so, that's, um, that's so cool. Yeah, it's like, it's like really um, intuitive, you know, it does high and so like growth. So this is one of my favorite parts because it does these growth charts. And a lot of people are like over here in like decline, stress. So it has the matrix, it has the four quadrants, has efficiency gain, it has a decline, it has quality growth, it has, you know, um, stress, and it will bounce around and tell you what your what your predicted cash flow is. So for people that really use their cash flow and understand how to like use the cash flow it will save you hours literally hours a day trying to figure out if you should invest in that new stock or if you should put more money in ad spend or what what would that do to your business and this will tell you okay at the end of the day okay you'll have forty seven thousand dollars left okay so you can spend that seventy thousand dollars and that will leave you still with plenty of cash flow after all your other um, your other expenses and, and business costs are um, spent for the month. So it will forecast out 30 to 45 days. It can even go further. Um, it will do trend analysis. So this is really um, effective for for trend-based business. So, so some people like, like wedding planners, let's say, are like super booked out in the summertime. And then they barely have any weddings or anything like that in um, December. So there are a lot of seasonal businesses that have to use uh, these trend reporting graphs or they won't have any idea um, or, or they'll find out that their business is is um, a, a, a trend kind of seasonal business. Um, it also does the advanced reporting. So um, for like construction businesses, there's job costing. There's like some really advanced um, job costing that has to be done. Um, there's, there's certain jobs that, that you need to know if you're making a profit on or not. So um, it's just an all around very friendly financial software. So um, please think about that once you're up and running and you have 
all your thing, you have revenue driving into your QuickBooks, then think of maybe doing the advanced version of QuickBooks because the, the financial GPS part of this is like priceless. The amount of headaches that it will, um, you know, keep you from having, it'll tell you like what's optimized, what's optimal, what's efficient, if your activity is good or if you need to speed up production. I mean, it measures everything in regards to numbers. So um, it, it's just like a really handy tool. So I wanted to make sure you guys know that this is here because not a lot of people know that QuickBooks teamed up with Fathom and that um, these are like the most interactive, helpful financial tools in the industry. And um, it really, um, it's really worth the $75 a month because actually the Fathom subscription was like $40 a month aside from the QuickBooks. And then you'd have to have the QuickBooks um, enterprise version to even connect to Fathom. But now Fathom and QuickBooks have integrated. So that's pretty fabulous. Um, let's see. What else? Any questions on that? Any of that? I... Okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to spend like a brief amount of time on, on the accounting part, um, the bookkeeping and finances. So um, you will need to have a profit and loss and balance sheet to register with the Dun and Bradstreet, the credit part of this program that we're gonna do at the very end. Um, so it's really important that you guys understand the general where to get that. So you would, where you would get that, which would be in QuickBooks. So to get a good profit and loss, um, you need QuickBooks. Also, I mean, the bookkeeping part of it is pretty, pretty solid, but they do have bookkeepers that you can hire as well in these programs. So just live bookkeeping. Um, I don't recommend this. I, I always, at the very beginning, I, I always recommend you guys keep an eye on your money yourself and um, then, then pay someone like me if you have a question um, because you really want to know where, where all your money is coming from and where it's going like your first few years. Uh, I think I saw an inventory. Was there inventory? Oh, yeah. Oh, it has the best inventory keeping system. Okay. I was yeah. going to ask if it was good or not. Okay. Yep. And it has scanners. It has the bar scanners. It has the guns. 